All right, good morning. Good afternoon, good evening. Last episode, we went after Odin and had to beat him in under a minute. Uh, 17,000 HP knocked off in under a minute. We did try to steal a protect ring from him. I did fail. I'm not going back to get it. We'll figure a way to survive without it. <laughs> um, and then we conquered the Phoenix Tower, which was a pain in the butt, to be completely honest. But we did get the awesome summon of Odin and Phoenix. Now, there's at least one more optional summon to grab. Um, we were challenged earlier by Bahamut. He went to this mountain, so we're going to go after Bahamut. Um, he is the most difficult summon boss in the game. Um, there's no guarantee that I'm going to win this fight uh, on the first one. Uh, we will win it some other time. So without further ado, go ahead hit that like button, that um, subscribe button, leave me a comment, and I'm going to start moving forward. Here we go. This place hasn't changed, even the bad guys are the same. All right, that was two rock slugs and a guy in a cat. I'm winging it. I don't know if I'm going the right way. All right, that was two more rock slugs and two tombstones. I think that's what they're called. I'll find out when I get to them next. Okay. All right, that was two rock slugs and a cockatrice. Okay, I know we got to be careful of these. That was a singular cockatrice. Did anything even hit me? Yeah. Why not? I've got extra. That was another singular cockatrice. And another. Be right back. That was another cockatrice, but be right back. Alright, here we go. I think we're almost there. I did not prep for this at all, so I'm probably going to get wet. We're going to try something here. I don't know how this is going to work. You who have broken the seal, if you can best me in battle, I shall award you my power. He has 40,000 life, by the way. Okay. So, what is he weak against? The dog. Probably a little early for that, but I'm okay with it. Okay. <laughs> oh, I should. Oh, I know what I did wrong. All right. We're probably going to die now. Hey, be right back. Let's do this the right way now. All right, so I changed all of my characters to time mages. 
Um. All right, so. Is it comet or meteor? So you turn everyone into a time mage and then you quick hey Stega and then just launch meteor. I'm going to cast a summon real quick, just in case he's going to cast his super special. I don't want to die. <laughs> because he cast Mega Flare, which is very lethal. However, aha, it is bounce backable. And we win. Yay. And that's how you do it the cheap way. And we're going to do the cheap way because I'm, I'm filming. <laughs> All right, we got Bahamut. Now, Bahamut is awesome. Uh, when you use him, uh, he does 9,999 damage to any enemy. So that's awesome. Um, now that we're done here, we're going to go ahead and teleport. That wasn't too bad. Um, I mean, I did do it the cheap way. I'm very well aware. Uh, all right, I'm gonna meet you guys back in the ship. Be right back. All right, I decided to show you Bahamut. I haven't seen. Let's see what he does. All right, everything's on. This man's gonna die. All right, that's cool. All right, meet you at the ship. All right, <clears throat> let's get out of here. We got a couple things to do before we start. Heading to the final dungeon. Really not much. Um, I mean, we're basically there. We do have some new classes to pick up. <clears throat> Guide doesn't say they're very good, but they're still classes that we're going to pick up because, you know, the whole we're getting everything situation. Right, so where are we going? Okay, I remember. It took me a second, sorry guys. I love the chocobo music. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. yeah. Okay. okay. <clears throat> so someone told us about an earthquake. Um, uh, fly south to Phantom of Phantom and find a large rolling thing. Okay, so we need a uh, 
Ah, right there. Yeah, some incredible force is coming up from the sea floor. Okay, so we're not doing this dungeon. We're just going to grab the crystals and get out. Ugh, it's like time and space are being twisted. It's sucking us in. We're going to try this. If this doesn't work, we're going to go ahead and not do it. Apparently this is a secret bonus dungeon. It means I will be doing the yes. Oh, I work. Mm -hmm. You finally arrived. Hmm? I didn't see what it said. Sorry, guys. All right, so we're gonna go in. We got a warrior spirit. We got the oracle. We got the Gladiator. They're decent. They're pretty good tanks. He said that's the best of the three that you got here. And a Cannoneer. Now we're going to go ahead and make our way out. Hopefully we don't get into any fights. Hey, I'm a traveling merchant, ever searching the world for rare and wonderful items. Recently, my ship was caught in a big storm, and I washed up here. On the bright side, a mysterious cavern in the sea is just bound to be full of great loot, or so I figured. Hmm. Oh, you kids have got those first fragments. Eh, that's the rarest of the rare. Oh, and it seems you don't even understand what powers are hidden inside those shards, huh? Alrighty then, I'll tell you. First are oracles. They have the power to predict, foretelling helpful or harmful phenomena that will happen to themselves or those around them. Earthquakes, tsunami illness, all of these can be predicted to be made to befall enemies. But be careful, sometimes they'll affect the oracles themselves. As for the necessary conditions to spark each phenomenon, well, that's something you'll just have to find out for yourself. Predictions come in three ranks. Higher ranks take longer to come true, but have much more drastic effects. It's like they say good things come to those who wait, right? Anyway, after a little practice and maybe a little luck, effectively using predictable pre-imprints. Um, apparently it can help you avoid, like, small fights. Like your random encounters. Next, we've got gladiators. Gladiators fight like they were born with a blade in their hand. Between their blade blitz technique and their finishers, the finishers are very rarely landing, They've got the power to take down almost any foe. Last but not least, the Cannoneers. These explosive experts use their ability to combine to always get the most bang for their buck. Combined lets Cannoneers put together the ammunition with various other items to cause different effects. There are three types of ammo, Buckshot, Blast Shot, and Blitz Shot. Try to combining different ammo with different items and see what happens. Actually, I'd love to help you guys get started by selling you some ammo right now, but I'm all sold out. How about this? I'll go talk to my supplier. Uh, then I'll be more than happy to help you with all your ammunition needs. I'm always on the go, so look for me when you're in town or castles. I'm usually lurking around the equipment shops. Got to keep tabs on the competition. Hope this is the beginning of a beautiful and profitable relationship. See you around. Okay, sir. All right, we made it. No fights. Whew. All right. So that's all we went there for. Now we're going to go stop by any store. I don't care which store. And we're going to buy a lot of cottages. We're going to go ahead. Uh, how much money do I have? I feel like I should have a lot. I do have a lot. All right. So we're going to fly. I think I'm going to go to... I can land right here. We don't need any weaponry. We're good with weapons. Um, but we are going to... Is it the shop? The shop usually sell, right? What are you?
All right, I think that's enough. Um, we don't need a lot. I mean, that 99 should cover us. Um, I feel like I should go buy either's, but I don't really have a lot of money. Um, we'll play by here because we can always leave. Somewhere over here, because I ran into it on. I kept. Let's show it on the map. I feel like it's straight directly this way. Where is it? Uh. Oh, come on, where are you? <sighs> okay, so where are we? Um, I gotta land in it? I'll be right back. We're going to go to find it. We're going to start it. I don't know how far we're going to get into it, but it is a very long dungeon. All right, we're back. Sorry about that. It took me a little bit longer than I like to admit it, but okay. So we're going to go and continue. So this place is crazy. This is the interdimensional rift. Okay, so we're going to come through here. Hmm. All right, so that was uh, five Ammonites. We fought those in the other desert. All right, that was three Anik eggs. <coughs> that was five more of the um, Ammonites. I realized I made a mistake. Oh. All right, there's three more of those Ankriegs. Ang All right, so, hold on. Yeah, I actually took some of them off, so. All right, five more Ammonites. Sorry, I forgot what I was doing in the middle of me doing it. <coughs> All right. Really? All right, there's three ink eggs. Where are we? Hmm, we're doing pretty good. All right. <coughs> For a thousand years, we have been sealed in the rift. Oh, hi, guys. Once X Death obtains the power of a void, a new world, a world of darkness will be born. Why does that even sound like a fun thing to do? You've been a thorn in Lord XS side for long enough. The void will be your burial ground. Wah! <laughs> and all that evil out there. Okay, so. Okay, so I think this is where we're going to end. Um, we got past the Shifting Sands. We still got some more places to go, but hey, we'll get through there. So until next time. Adios, amigos.